It is Wednesday, July 14th, 2010, and it is Bastille Day, a great day to have a croque monsieur, croque au vin, or a glass of Bordeaux. Anyway, uh, I've received a couple of interesting phone calls in the last two days that I wanted to share with you. The first one was from a lady in Virginia who was asking for a $1.4 million mortgage. And when I asked her what was the sale price of the property, she said, $1.4 million. She said, well, the county's assessing it at 1.8, so I have $400,000 worth of equity. The next phone call I got is today from a woman who had a 201 area code, which is northern New Jersey, who was looking online at a property in Philadelphia, probably, you know, about 100 miles away. And she said, she started out the conversation with, you know, I lived there before and I like the area, so I wanted to figure out how to acquire this property. Are you going to live there? Oh, yeah. And do you have a job in Philadelphia you're going to? Uh, uh, no. So, who's going to believe for a, it's about an $80,000 property, you're going to commute to North Jersey every day for work. Yeah. You have to put 20% down at least, and you're what's called an investor, and you have to pay higher rates, and you have to get good credit scores and six to nine months of reserves. It's like, what? Don't these people read a newspaper? Don't they have any clue? This is 2010. Look on your calendars, people. Read the news. Mortgage fraud. Well, there's something called the FBI that really doesn't like this, and you can go to prison committing mortgage fraud. And I can't wait to find out if this actually, this woman can actually figure out a way to buy this thing and have somebody who plays with her to be able to get in. It's Oh, yeah. You know, things we do, things we tell about to people, do they not listen? Are they just in a time machine? I don't know. Is it drugs? Alcohol induced? Well, thank God there are some people who can actually qualify. And rates have been really ridiculously low. They ticked up a bit. The Treasury's um, now 308. They were up to about 311, 312 yesterday on the 10-year. But you can still get a really good mortgage rate now. Is it going to go lower? I have some lunatic that emailed me yesterday. Let me know when 30-year fix is at 4%. If you can get 4 and, and you're paying 6 something now on $300,000, you can save it 250 bucks a month. Why not do it? Just do it. You can always do it again. Um, also, your house has a value now that you're able to do. So if you have the equity in the property, you have the income, you have the credit, you're going to save a few hundred bucks a month. Do it now. There's no prize for getting the lowest rate in America. Okay? There's no gain that this is. This is just about saving money. All right, stop complaining. But I just thought I'd share those amusing phone calls that I've gotten. Hope you have a great day. Drink a lot of Bordeaux for me and enjoy. This has been Fred Glick.